the sun coming out. I worship the Son of God. He was Father in creation. He became the Son of redemption. And now he's a Holy Ghost to the church. One Lord, one faith, one baptism. Praise the Lord. You don't need no drug overdose. All you need is the Holy Ghost. Getting the Holy Ghost is better than taking a drug overdose. That's how much God loves you. God can save a drug addict and get him out the attic and make him a preacher. Woo! God can save a drug dealer and make him a faith healer and make him a preacher. Those are the ones that God uses is the ones off the street. God can save you and feed with the power of the Holy Ghost speaking in tongues. Hallelujah. After the presence of the Lord, you don't need no drug overdose. You don't need no drug overdose. All you need is the Holy Ghost. Getting the Holy Ghost is better than taking the drug overdose. Jesus is coming. He says, I'm coming back at an hour that you think not. Be ready. It's coming back for a holy people. You got to be holy to make it to heaven. God, though God is loving, but he's still holy. Praise the Lord. He said, be holy, for I am holy. No, we're not perfect. We all have sin. But thank God for a merciful God. I probably made more mistakes than you did. And Christ forgave me. I know he can forgive you too. That's why he shed his blood on the cross of Calvary for the lost. Why we was yet sinners, Christ had died for the ungodly. Because hell is a horrible place. Yes, we have hell here on earth, but hell beneath the earth is even worse. And there's a place even worse than hell. It's called the lake of fire. I don't want to go there. When you die without Jesus, you go to hell. Don't go there. Someone said, well, why would a loving God send me to hell? We must understand that God is also a holy God who hates evil, who hates sin. Jesus can wash away our sins because he loves you. That's why he said, for God so loved the world. It didn't say he loved racism. It didn't say he loved murder. God hates to murder in the world. He hates the killing in the world. And one day God will destroy the evil in this world. He's already sitting judgments. We can see all the pestilence and the wildfires taking place. That's the judgment of God against the wicked. He's already sitting signs. But we have a chance to repent while we are alive. Praise the Lord, hallelujah, because tomorrow is not promised to you or me. Tomorrow is not guaranteed to you or me. The next moment is not even guaranteed to you or me. Don't die without Jesus. Have a relationship with the Lord. Hallelujah, praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus.